Hi, I'm Scott Noonan, the CEO of Audio Advice. This video is part of our series on the top five tips to improve your home theater audio and top five tips for improving your home theater video. This particular video has got an audio track in it that's intended to be used with our center channel calibration optimization video. So what we've done is we've set up two voices these voices are set up to try to replicate dialogue that you would get in a surround sound movie. You'll hear two different versions of the voices. What your goal first is, is to move your center channel speaker so it does not sound like this. And you'll hear us talk about it. So if it's in a cabinet, you may need to pull it forward, get it in the right spot. Then the second thing you're gonna use this video for is to listen to the dialogue and try different crossovers. So you're probably starting at 80 hertz crossover. You'll move it up to 90, 100, 110, 120. You can even test a little bit lower, say 60 or 70, and find where the dialogue in these these two different voices sounds the best. Now, I'm going to cut to these voices and let you try it, and then I'll come back and close it out. If you've got any questions, feel free to give us a call at audioadvice.com or stop by one of our award-winning showrooms. Now, let's get started with the sounds. As you listen to my voice, you should not hear any parts where it sounds like I am resonating. This is what my voice might sound like when it is resonating. These should sound clear. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. Jack Dawes love my big sphinx of quartz. As you listen to my voice, you should not hear any parts where it sounds like I am resonating. This is what my voice might sound like when it is resonating. These should sound clear. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. Jackdaws love my big sphinx of quartz. As you listen to my voice, you should not hear any parts where it sounds like I am resonating. This is what my voice might sound like when it is resonating. These should sound clear. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. Jack Dawes love my big sphinx of quartz. As you listen to my voice, you should not hear any parts where it sounds like I am resonating. This is what my voice might sound like when it is resonating. These should sound clear. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. Jackdaws love my big sphinx of quartz. As you listen to my voice, you should not hear any parts where it sounds like I am resonating. This is what my voice might sound like when it is resonating. These should sound clear. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. Jack Dawes love my big sphinx of quartz. As you listen to my voice, you should not hear any parts where it sounds like I am resonating. This is what my voice might sound like when it is resonating. These should sound clear. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. Jackdaws love my big sphinx of quartz. As you listen to my voice, you should not hear any parts where it sounds like I am resonating. This is what my voice might sound like when it is resonating. These should sound clear. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. Jack Dawes love my big sphinx of quartz. As you listen to my voice, you should not hear any parts where it sounds like I am resonating. This is what my voice might sound like when it is resonating. These should sound clear. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. 
pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. Jackdaws love my big sphinx of quartz. If you have any questions on this, leave a comment in YouTube or give us a call at audioadvice.com and we'll be happy to help you out. If you want more tips like this on how to improve your theater, click on the link in the description for our top five tips for improving your home theater audio and video and our top seven most common mistakes to avoid. Also, if you like and subscribe, you'll get the latest home theater content as well when we roll it out. If you're updating your theater or building a new one, check out the home theater page at audioadvice.com where we have our free home theater design tool, how-to videos, inspiration gallery, and home theater install videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.